got a bit of a situation going on behind me. Ambulances. Yeah, thank you for that because it's just reminded me to uh, comment on that. Um, as you can see, the amb I don't think that's got anything to do with the old uh, pokes in the arm, but uh, it needs mentioning that the ambulances have continued to be on the roads as per usual. Three ambulances, I wonder what's must be something big on the A12 maybe. Um, Yeah, so the ambulance thing is still continuing. I noticed that as soon as I got back. They're still going round in circles and, um, yeah. Anyway, so this video is about the old uh, monetization. So I've monetized the channel and uh, the reason that I've monetized the channel was um, more than anything our curiosity and interest. So I was interested to see how much you earn, you know, because I've only speculated for a long time. All that changes on your channel, of course, is the adverts. So, you know, I think you make about 5p for every advert that's shown on your on your channel. That's what I've heard, I don't know how true it is. I don't think that's quite accurate myself. But anyway, um, so within the space of a month, bear in mind I've barely made any videos. You know, my views have dropped down to its lowest ever as a result. I think it's like 2,000 views I've had within the last month on the entire channel. And um, with that, you know, I got uh, about a tenner. Now, one of the things that I find was quite curious was um, that YouTuber, Reverend, what's his name, Sideways Simon, I think he's called. He was claiming that he made about 35p, something like, or 35 cents. Bear in mind, he's someone who gets thousands of views and, you know, he's got a good sub subscription of maybe 100,000 views. So that really leads me to wonder whether can he be trusted? You know, like I think he was asking for money, maybe, or subscript. You know, like uh, donations or something. Um, so I, I just don't. I don't want to start slandering somebody or saying things that simply aren't true about somebody. But it certainly made made me question it because I I haven't claimed that ten pound either, just for the record. I don't actually need the money without being arrogant, you know, I'm quite financially well off in some ways now, I've nearly paid off my mortgage now, etc. Um, so I'm quite lucky in that regard. Uh, but yeah, it makes me question a lot of these big time YouTubers, whether, the thing is, they, they get these subscriptions and, but yeah, they can talk about all sorts and yet no one demonetizes them or, I don't know, there's certain narratives you have to stay in line with, like the old. Nigel Watson's a fantastic example because he always, always has to throw in the um, Nazi Germany thing because we've got to keep that narrative going, haven't we? We have to keep that narrative going. Uh, and that makes me question is he part of, you know, the Shekel gang he was into? I think he was an economics teacher once he had one of the big universities, so I mean. Obviously, the Shekel Gang and money go hand in hand, really, don't they? Um, but anyway, one of the re main reasons why I haven't claimed anything off YouTube yet, you know, I haven't actually taken any of that money yet. Well, one, it's not enough to really be, be that bothered about, it's a tenner. Uh, and two, I think really, um, it confirms your identity. It confirms, and what well, they call it, verify. So they want me to verify my identity in order to um, to get the money. And I don't feel comfortable with that because I just don't trust anyone in this world of YouTube and Facebook. And um, I think you've got to be careful because uh, your opinions get out of line, as mine are. And uh, they can verify who you are. You know, I'm not desperate enough to do that, to claim £10 and say exactly who I am, um, you know, which is quite ironic really because apparently we live in a free society and, you know, I was only saying the other day that, like for example, with all this stuff Keir Starmer's bringing in with hate speech and, um, you know, you could, you could go to jail for some of this stuff maybe I've said in the past or, 
some of the opinions, you know, because they don't marry up with the liberal narrative. Again, it's quite ironic, obviously, you know, being liberal, you'd think we're quite free and open, but in reality, it's, if you go far left, if you go far left, you go far right, and end up meeting, meeting somewhere in the middle, really, don't you? Um, so, yeah, I haven't taken any of the money yet. I don't really intend to, unless it's an enormous amount that's worth taking. Uh, like back in April, you know, when the me channel kind of exploded, I seem to have like little, little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like little purges or bursts. It's probably the best way to put it. I have little bursts where, you know, I'll get. Um, I think within a week, I had about 100,000 views in April on three videos. You know, it started with a, a random trip down to Ilford. They got like 40,000 views. St George's Day got 30,000 in uh, Dunstable and then Gravesend got about 20,000 and you know that would have made a lot of money. Probably would have got about a grand for that maybe. Um, maybe even more. But you know then it goes really quiet it dips right down and it just doesn't make sense does it? You get all these new subscribers and you'd think your views would stay permanently kind of up there. But it's not really the case. You know I'm lucky to get 200 views or something in a video but you know so be it so be it I never really started any of this you know desperate to get views and money and so on um, but I've got a good foundation in case I want to pursue it properly <coughs> which is something to be grateful for because let's face it the, the vlogging world has been done to death now everybody's doing it you know it doesn't take much to buy a gimbal and walk around a town or a city and turn yourself into like a a human Google Maps but I try to add a different narrative in there it's all about trying to wake a few people up who might be sleeping you know like more than anything towards the social credit or the banking uh, system that's slowly shutting down and why it's shutting down so yeah I think um, that's about that on the, on the monetization um, Oh yeah, there's a, a guy I know who is from around Essex and he said um, it doesn't make sense that you went to America and then monetized the channel when you thought you weren't coming back. Uh, well, like I said in the reply to you, it's not really like that. I was more thinking that... <clears throat> I was more thinking that something big was going to happen out in the US. Which it sort of did with, with hurricanes. Um, you know, more than, if I'm honest, I was actually worried about flying more than anything. I was flying over the Atlantic Ocean. The idea of flying all the way across a, an ocean doesn't really make me feel that comfortable because uh, there's no way of obviously landing particularly safely onto land. So, that was a lot of the thinking, really. Yep, so anyway, I think uh, that's about it really, I'll knock it on the head now, alright, cheers.